Uh, today we solve the problems about angles. The first question is find A and B. Find A and B if it is given that A minus B equals to equals to 30 degree. Find, we have to find the values of A and B if A minus B is 90 degree in the given figure. In the figure is there is a straight line this angle is B and this angle is A. Now we have to find the values of A and B. Now, because this is a straight line and we know that A and B are forming a linear pair and the sum of the linear pair angle is always 180 degrees. So we can, we can say that A plus B should be 180 degree. But in the question it is given that A minus B equals to 30 degree. Now when we add these two equations, when we add these two equations, the B is cancelled. A plus A, we get twice of A, which is equals to 180 minus 30. Sorry, 180 plus 30, that is 210. And the value of A is 210 divided by 2, that is 105 degree. So the value of A is 105. And the value of B, value of B, value of B, as we know that A plus B equals to 180. So put the value of A, that is 105 in this equation. 105 plus B equals to 180. So B equals to 180 minus 105, which is comes to be 75 degree. So the values of B is 75 degree. Now we move to the next question. The next question, the next question is uh, there is a one figure given to you. And there is a straight line. This angle is A and this angle is B and this is 90 degree and this complete angle on this point B denoted by P this is Y this is and this point X and this point is O This point is O. Uh, in the given figure, it is given that angle POY P -O -Y is 90 degree and it is also given that A is to B, the ratio of A is to B is 2 is to 3 and we have to find the angle C. What should be the angle C? No. Uh, as we know that x y is a straight line, so sum of all the angles made on this line should be 180 degree. So we can say that angle P, angle B plus angle A plus angle P O Y should be 180 degree. So angle B plus angle A plus angle P O Y should be 180 degree because sum of all the angles made on the line should be 180 degree. Uh, as the ratio of A is to B is given that is 2 is to 3 we can assume A is equals to 2x and B is equals to let's say 3x 
we have to put the values of a and b in this equation. For b, we have to put 3x and for a, we have to put 2x as it is given that angle POY is 90 degree. So 3x plus 2x plus 90 degree is equals to 180 degree. So 5x plus 90 degree is equals to 180 degree. So 5x equals to 180 degree minus 90 degree which is comes to be 90 degree. Now so x is equals to 90 degree divided by 5 which is comes to be 18 degree. Now uh, we have to find the value of C. Uh, first of all we know that what should be A and what should be the B. As we know that A is equals to 2x. So A is equals to 2 into 18 that is 2 be 36. And B is that is 3x which is comes to be 3 into 18 that is 54. The value of A is 36 and the value of B is 54. So the angle C. Now we have to find the angle C. What should we see? Uh, from this figure, we can say that the C uh, as the line, let's say this point is M. We can say that MN is a straight line. So sum of all the angles on this line should be 180 degrees. So angle B plus angle C. The angle B plus angle C should be 180 degree for the line MN. Angle B plus angle C should be 180 degree. And we know that the value of B is 54. 54 plus C equals to 180 degree. So C is equals to 180 minus 54 which is comes to be 126 degree. So the required answer is 126 degree. Now we move to the next question. First of all, we have given one figure. Now, uh, the question is in the given figure, in the given figure, OP bisect OP bisect angle VOC. The line OP is bisect angle VOC. And OQ, OQ bisect angle AOC. Angle AOC. And we have to show that we have to show that angle POQ angle P O Q is 90 degree. Now according to question OP bisect angle B O C. Line O P is bisecting the angle B O C. So these two angles are equal because O P is bisect bisecting the angle B O C into two equal halves. Same way the line O Q is bisecting angle A O C. So these two angles that is angle Q O C and angle AOQ are equal. These two angles are equal. Let's say the value of this angle is X and the value of this angle is X because these two are equal. Now same way as these two angles are also equal, let's say the value of angle is this Y and this is Y. Now and we know that the sum of all the angles made on a line on the one side should be 180 degree. So sum of all these angles is 180 degree. So we can say that x plus x plus y plus y equals to 180 degree. So x plus x that is 2x, y plus y that is 2y. So 2x plus 2y equals to 180 degree. We have to take two common. We write x plus y equals to 180 degree. Now, 
x plus y equals to 180 divided by 2 that is 90 degree. So the x plus y should be 90 degree and x, by, x plus y is nothing but angle P O Q angle P O Q that is 90 degree. So this proof the angle P O Q is 90 degree. Now we move to the next question. No, uh, we move to the next question. Uh, first of all, we draw the figure. In the given figure, in the given figure, POQ is a straight line. And there is a ray OR. There is a ray OR perpendicular to the line. Ray OR perpendicular to the line PQ. And OC and OS is the OS is the another ray lying between ray OP and OR. OS is the another ray which is lying between OP and OR. OS is the ray. OS is the ray which is lying between OP and OR. Now we have to prove that we have to prove that angle ROS angle ROS is equal to half angle QOS minus angle POS now we have to prove that angle ROS is equals to half bracket angle QOS minus angle POS now let's see how we can do this first of all we see uh, what will be given to you uh, here P O Q is a straight line, O R is perpendicular, so this angle is 90 degree, and there is a ray O S, which is between O P and O R. Okay. Now we have to show that angle R O S is half minus angle Q S minus angle P O S. Okay. Now, uh, first of all, let's say find angle Q O S. What is QOS? Let's say this angle is X. Okay. Now, uh, from this figure, we can say that the angle QOS is 90 degree plus X. That is 90 plus X. From the figure, we can see that the angle QOS is nothing but 90 plus X. And what is angle POS? From this figure, angle POS can be written as angle POR minus angle ROS. Angle POR is 90 degree. Angle POR is 90 degree. And ROS is X. So, if we subtract angle ROS from POR, we get the value of POS. So, the value of POR is again 90 minus X. So, angle POS is equals to 90 minus X. Now, we have to prove that uh, angle ROS equals to half of QO minus QOS minus POS. Now, we have to take the left hand part of this and we have to find the value of. Now, we find the value of half angle. QOS minus angle POS and we already know that that half the value of QOS is 90 plus X and the value of POS is 90 minus X now we have to solve these brackets 90 plus X the sign will be changed because there is negative sign minus 90 plus x 
90 are getting cancelled half x x plus x that is 2x half into 2x we are getting x and the angle x is nothing but angle ROH